Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Stally111 and this is episode 3 of my Let's Play of the Ship. Uh, I've got... I, I've, I've really buggered up quite badly. Um, turns out that uh, my... I was saying that last episode was um, number 3, was it? It was actually number 4 I did. And um, yeah, so we're doing number 4. Five now. Yeah, number five. Um, I, I was a bit. Um, no, but, but crap. I was a bit uh, questionable of what I was saying there, but yeah. Yeah, we're on number five now, chapter five, defense. Because uh, the intro cutscene and then getting introduced to the game is actually a chapter, apparently. So yeah. Let's see if there's any weapons in here. God damn it, there's usually wep like proper good weapons. Oh well. Do we we should be fine for the defense. I'm honestly not sure if I should put this into one episode because I I think this might take up about maybe half an hour. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. We've got to pick up three items, steal three items for this fence. Sorry if I sound a little bit weird. Um, I had uh, a bit of a wobbly tooth, so I had to put like because I have had like problems with my teeth before because uh, I had to have like braces put in before, and uh, yeah, my retainer like I usually just had to put it in at night, and uh, I just put it in during the day, and I may sound a little bit weird because. I don't, I don't know how, I just feel like I might sound weird. So this is our man, the fence. Hello. I hear you're looking to make some money. I'd like you to get your hands on King Mescalamdug's helmet. No scholar of Sumerian antiquities you, I see. It's wrought in the finest gold. The most magnificent helmet you could ever feast your eyes on. It's being transported in the cargo hold. There's a guard, but it should be short work for a ruffian such as yourself. Great. So I'm, I am a ruffian. Don't worry, guys. I know where this helmet is. Um, without even well, <laughs> yeah, I knew where it was, but without even needing to look at the things in cargo hold, the current location. But, um, I should probably have a wee sleep. Never know what you're gonna get, so, always check them. You know what, just jump in here. So, this has this chapter has a bit of a weird ending. I'm not gonna say anything, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but let's just say you could probably have already noticed what it, how it's gonna end earlier on this episode, like a minute or so ago, maybe two minutes. I'm not sure how far we're already in, but that is not the helmet because that's not a helmet, that's a crown. We actually need to go in here. You bugger off. Good lad. Good boy. No. No. Oh, fuck you then. Bugger off. Stop following me. My way. Never find out where I am. I should probably go to the bank and cash in all this cash. That's a, still a way to do it. And then we take it 250. 
for any food and whatnot. That's how I roll. <coughs> Put all of it in and take 250 out. So, I'm going to give you a quick second of uh, seeing what, how it ends. Shortly, I'm not going to tell you when it's happening because uh, obviously you'd know how this chapter ends. That'd be spoilers. But uh, there's a way to tell. And uh, you will shortly see. One sec. The piss. Uh, but yeah. I think that he, that guy might have been one of the AI coming after me to, you know, I'm his quarry, if you will. Well, let's just go for a waz. And, um... We need a shower. So let's just wash our hands. That'll hopefully help us out a little bit. Wash our hands again. Get what we got to do. Needs are all replenished. Not, not really. You'd probably read a book, but, well... Do you have it? Excellent. Slip it to me under the table and I'll pay you well. Marvelous! You've got a taste for this, I can see. In the captain's cabin hangs a Rembrandt painting. Steal it for me. But have a care. The <coughs> captain's well secured with guards and cameras. You'll need a disguise to slip in. Now leave me. I want to buff my helmet. Okay, uh, so we got 2,500 for that. And don't worry guys, I know where to get the disguise. And if you recall from our first episode, I believe, the end of the first episode, when we did chapters 1, 2, and 3, um, I went into the showers for the pool area. And uh, we saw a guard costume. That is what we need. The mail changing rooms. I, I actually forgot it was down there. Um, but yeah. If you want to just head back there, you should be able to find it yourself. But if you cannot, you can always go the way I'm going. And not get trapped by the door. And yeah, you better not block my way to the down the stairs and stuff. Yeah. Anyway. Guard uniform, where art thou? Right, so that's female, that's toilets, uh, well, toilets, female, and male. Sometimes usually a weapon in here, as I mentioned before. Well, good weapon, I mean, there's always weapons in here. There's a katana, but we've already got enough weapons. Right, let's roll. As Optimus Prime once said, Autobots roll out. But I'm on myself, so. Autobot. Move out. My rollout's right. One problem I have with this game is um, you find yourself clicking shift an awful lot for the sprint button to get around the ship faster. And um, let's just say you will get a lot of sticky keys. And that sounded really wrong. <laughs> I did not mean it like that. I meant it like the thing where you tap control or shift or alt a lot of times and it comes up with sticky keys and it makes a really weird sound, a silly little sound that in like school everyone finds hilarious. <coughs> Someone was just murdered. All right. Oh yeah, we're on the same floor. What am I talking about? All right, fellow guard. How we doing? 
old chap. Good to see you doing some work. Go for a wee nap. And go to Bruno's bar for a luxurious martini. Then go to the library. The library for a lovely read of some works. Possibly by um, John Ronald Ruel Tolkien. Probably head to the library first, I believe it's this way. Is it this Aye. way? Whoa there. Aye, it is. This looks like a nice book table you read at. Oh, you can take a book away with me. One more read. I should do it. Bruno, I've got business for you. I would like a cocktail. Stop sending it to yourself. Right, we shall return this and we'll find out the ending. The, the, see if uh, you figured it out by now. So, make sure to comment down below what you think the ending of this chapter is going to be and the time it is on this video at the moment. So, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but um, yeah, it's not going to be a, near the end or anything. So, yeah, I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. Time's up. Where's my treasure? Apply yourself, dear boy. Time, Time is money. money. Snobby bastard. No problems for you again, I see. Capital. Capital. You have a knack for thievery. But my final request may be a little rich even for your blood. The Holy Grail is held upon this very boat. My sources tell me it's in the vault. The bank manager has the codes. You'll need to encourage, encourage him, him to hand them over. Again, a little dressing up will be required. Bring it to me, and I'll make it worth your while. Right, the bank manager. This is the Holy Grail of Holy Grails, because it's literally the Holy Grail. And that's why I said there's a bit of a, a twist ending on this chapter, because it's a Holy Grail. It's kind of a bit unrealistic. Why would they have the Holy Grail on a boat? Which is going to be... Something. It's going to have a, a competition where people try to kill each other on. Why would somebody like Mr. X, I believe it is? I can't remember what his name is. Is that forgettable? Something to eat. What? So five dollars. I'm hungry now. I want, I'm gonna have a packet of crisps after this. Right to you! Presidential corridor. Where boots is this again? Oh yeah, it's way over there. Bloody hell. Right. So. Back at this. Can we go from here? Hmm. Let's just go along and see how we do. There we go. Here we are. And um, I believe it was two episodes ago I mentioned there was a um, shopping area. It's very small, but um, yes, let's just say it. Oh, take all you. Um, it has a vault in it, and this is the vault mission. This is the toilet that is always open that I always run into, and it's a female's one. It's always on open from start. So let's have a look. So we have Porvu, which is women's clothing. Let's not go in there. 
Victorian secret. Well, that's uh, not trying to cover up anything. Any copyright laws or anything? <coughs> Uh, Nautilus, Nautilus Spores. Nah, you're quite unattractive. Marco Grazia. Same woman in the same shop. In a different shop. Right to you. Hello, Mr. Camera. Just, um, casually getting in here. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. I'm calling security. You can call security because uh, I need a weapon that I won't be able to kill him with because I need to hit him. I should probably call that pool Q. Pool Q. That's the word. Oh, damn it! It's ambassadors. Home isn't it? Home. Um. Area. Sleeping. I just go down the stairs, have a nap, and hopefully try and find a weapon of uh, mass destruction. And by mass destruction, I mean little to no destruction. Just uh, inconvenience for our good friend, the bank manager. That could work. I'm surprised I've not. I don't think I've got caught yet with any weapons. I think on the very last episode, I think I should just get caught just on purpose, just to show you guys how it all works. Let's uh, get the weapon out that we want to use. There we go. Just to beat up the bank manager a little bit, so um, he. Gives us the code for the, the vault, which isn't very difficult to get into because there's a, a guard and a camera looking right at you when you're in it. But if you close the door, let's just say you can steal stuff from it and be none of it, and the guards are none of the wiser. Even though the. Oh, you'll see, you'll see. I'll show you. Well, I mean, just in about 30 seconds, if that. So we need a waz again. Need a piss. I was actually a little bit confused at this mission because it indicates on the here that it's in there, but then like you think that's where the thing is. But yeah. He doesn't actually give you a code to put in or anything. Okay, okay, here's the code, please don't kill me. Okay. I thought you were gonna drop a code or something, that's why I was looking around here before. And that's not the code. It might be. I'm not sure. Anyway. Alright. What's that? Open that. So you can see through that. Yeah, I can see. I can see me going through there. And uh, he can. Unless he's blind. Are you blind? Well, I thought Get out of it. Okay, you're going to get all this money. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a camera. Um, I believe to be there, which could easily see me going in there, which I'm not allowed in. And um, yeah, see through bars. He could see me take out the Holy Grail, one of the most prized possessions in religious things. I, can't, I don't know what to say, religious. Um. Let's go up to um, rel just religion. Whoops. Whoopsie doodles. Right, this is not gonna work. Let's just go up the stair and. Cash in our last defense, our last uh, possession, which is the holy grail of items to steal. Literally the holy grail, as I've already made that joke, haven't I? Anyway. Uh, <coughs> 
we should get quite a lot of money. I think it's ten thousand or something. Maybe maybe I'm taking it over the top, but it certainly deserves ten thousand. Finally, my greatest treasure. Here, take your money. Leave me now. I want to drink from the fabled cup. But if you should come across any other trinkets as you rampage through the ship, bring them to me. I'll give you a price. Very well. 10k, uh, that's what I said, didn't I not? Someone just died in here, didn't they? Yep, over there. So uh, thank you for watching my good friends. We are going to return to Jimmy the Bellboy and uh, he will tell us our next chapter. Uh, uh, he'll begin the next chapter so thanks for watching please drop a like, drop a comment if you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe if you've not done already. Hello, why have you got everything out? Mm-hmm. Better move on. Because I'm a guard too, you know. Looks totally different because I've got a mustache. But still. Thanks for watching. Please drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Um my name is Dally111 and I hope you have a great evening. Peace off, guys. See you in the next one. When we do chapter six, I believe it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace off.